I recently had a YouTube subscriber ask for help with selling the benefit of peace of mind and happiness. And this is a pretty good question because you would think that everybody wants peace of mind and happiness. And if that is one of the main benefits that your product delivers, that should be extremely easy to sell. But that's not the case because peace of mind and happiness is a fairly soft benefit that can be difficult to see and touch and feel. And if you go out and only focus on on that one benefit, it's going to be difficult to generate real interest and get prospects to move forward with buying the product or service that you sell. One way to solve that is to build up to the benefit of peace of mind. It's very likely the case that the product or service that you sell provides many different benefits, and it's those other benefits that lead to the peace of mind. And what you can do is first focus on those other benefits and use those to build interest, and then introduce the benefit of peace of mind and happiness as icing on the cake, and use that to take the interest you've already created to the next level, improving your ability to push the prospect forward with wanting to buy the product or service that you sell. And to help you to visually see what I'm talking about here, we actually break the concept of benefits and value down into three levels. And the lowest level of value is what we refer to as technical value. This is where the product or service that you sell helps to make things work better for the prospect or customer. And there are many different products and services that provide peace of mind and happiness. And to demonstrate all of these tips and concepts, I'm going to use a very simple technology-based product. And that is a product that helps a business to back up data. So at the lowest level, the technical value this product provides the people we're selling to is that we help them to automate the backing up of their customer data. Now, when your product provides technical value, that will usually work its way up to create business value. This is where your customer will see improvements in the money they make or the costs they save. We're helping them to improve how their business runs. So if we help them to improve and automate how they back up customers' data, then that means in, at the business level, we will help them to avoid any issues that could happen by them potentially losing customer data, such as customers becoming un unhappy and canceling their accounts and filing lawsuits and damaging the business's reputation. And when our product provides technical and business value, that will work its way up to create personal value to help the person we're selling to at a personal level. This could be improving the personal income they make, improving their career, improving or decreasing their workload. So when their company uses our technology to improve the backup process, that helps the person we're selling to have more peace of mind that everything is always perfectly backed up and that there should not be any stress from the outcomes that would happen if they lost data. So we're creating peace of mind, lower stress, less headache, less stuff to worry about. And when you have that list of benefits, you can build up to the peace of mind by focusing on the lower level benefits to help the prospect see how you can help them and then introduce the concept of peace of mind as the icing on the cake to build interest to the next level. And another reason why peace of mind and happiness can sometimes not be enough to get the prospect to move forward is that people and prospects are often quicker to solve problems and spend money on something that hurts than they are to proactively invest in improvements for the future. And you could view peace of mind and happiness as being a benefit and an improvement. And what you can do is you can approach that benefit from the other side by focusing on the pain points and problems that go away when your product or service helps someone to achieve peace of mind and happiness. The concept of benefits and pain points have a yin and a yang relationship, meaning every benefit and improvement you can deliver to your prospects, there is an opposite pain point that you will help make go away. So if you can't get the prospect to move forward based on the benefits you can deliver, come at it from the other side and focus on the problems that you can help the prospect to resolve, minimize, or avoid 
with the product or service that you provide. Instead of painting the picture of peace of mind and happiness, you can paint the picture of stress, headache, and problems, and then sell your product or service as a solution to make all of that go away, ultimately creating peace of mind and happiness. Now, if you agree with that approach, the first thing you need to do is create a list of pain points or problems that your product or service can help to make go away. And you may know these right offhand. And if I ask you to give me a list, you might be able to throw a couple at me. But here's the trick is that we can actually bring back those value points and benefits that we created on the last step. Because as I mentioned, there's a yin and a yang relationship here. And with that, for each of these improvements, there is an opposite problem that we can make go away. If we automate and improve the backup process, that solves the problem that it's time consuming and error prone to manually backup customer data. If we help our customers to avoid problems that can happen if they lose data, the opposite of that and the problem that solves is that there will be a lot of issues and problems if there's a situation where they lose customer data. And then if we ultimately create peace of mind and happiness and decrease stress, the opposite of that is that it can be extremely stressful worrying about what will happen if there's an outage and an issue and data is lost. And going through that process gives us this list of pain points. And when you have this, maybe you focus on talking about this before you introduce the concept of peace of mind or if you're trying to get the prospect to move forward by talking about peace of mind and happiness and they're not buying into it or seem interested enough to move forward, change directions and focus more on these problems that you're going to help them to resolve, minimize or avoid. Now, if you want to implement some of those tips, as you can see, two things you should do is brainstorm the benefits that you can provide and brainstorm the pain points you can help to solve. And if you want help with brainstorming those, we actually have a sales message brainstorming process that will help you to identify the optimum things to say and ask for the product or service that you sell. I'll include a link to a video that will take you through that process in the description below. But an example of what going through that process might create, here is a sales message that we created for cybersecurity services by going through all these individual steps. And if you're looking at this and thinking either A, I don't know if I can figure out what to say for each of these steps for what I sell, or if you're thinking, I don't feel like spending the time and effort to go through this, in Sales Scripter, we actually have an area called the Sales Message Builder which aligns with all of those steps that I just showed you. And our sales message builder includes AI tools that utilize ChatGBT. And you can use ChatGBT to go through all of those different steps and create all of those different talking points and questions for the product or service that you sell. And I actually used this AI to create all of these talking points for cybersecurity services. But the great thing is that once you do go through this process, whether you do it on your own or you use AI, is that each of these steps will create what we refer to as building blocks. And once you have these building blocks, you can mix and match them to create a lot of different sales tools and sales documents. You can mix and match those blocks to create a cold call script, to create an appointment or a meeting script, email messages, voicemail messages, objection responses, and a whole lot more. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully there's a tip or two in there that helps you to see things a little differently. And if you have questions or want more information, the best place to go is salescriptor.com. Thanks for being here. Hope this was helpful and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.